Hey, it's been a minute since I've done a video, but I feel it very essential to do one today. A lot's happened since my last one, and for the most part I've stuck with sending out emails, and I haven't felt like talking about it because a lot has come up. The big one is uh, Washington State's announcement that they're suspending their uh, mercury ban for the next three months. And that's right, because they want to make sure all the pregnant women and children have a chance to get their shot. They want to make sure everybody gets that shot of protection. So nice of them. So, now there's no limit to how much mercury and thimerosal can go into those vaccines. I'd be more than, I don't even need to think about it. Yeah, they're going to put squalene and whatever the fuck they want in. So have fun. If you want your vaccine, go get it. For me personally, my forced vaccine through the military comes this weekend. I personally will be telling them to kiss my ass, and we'll see. Whatever the consequences are, I'll deal with it, but they're not sticking that shit into me. That, however, is a very small issue compared to what's come up in the last couple of days. Now, understand me when I say this. I knew that New World Order, North American Union, or just Wall Street assholes, whatever you want to call it, whoever this body of people is that wants to take over the country, take over the world even, there's, you can't compartmentalize things out too small without it fucking up, without, it, without you screwing up somewhere, and they just did. You probably heard of American Police Force by now in Billings, Montana. Well, let me give you some of the details on them. A, nobody knows who owns this company for sure because they will not release the details. If you read a couple articles about them, you all, you'll know enough, and I'm going to post a couple of links. Understand this. On their website and on their vehicles that they brought in that were seen, there was a big seal, two eagles facing either direction. Another link that I'm going to put on here is a link to see Serbian art. And you will see the Serbian royal seal, which looks damned identical to the seal worn by American police force. So, I don't care what the spokesmen say, and I don't care how they whitewash it. And I listened to Mike Collingsworth of uh, formerly Freedom Video USA, now J Steel 7707. I listened to him call whatever this asshole is that's running the company there in Montana. And I listened to this man lie to him and hang up on him three times. Then I listened to the governor's office give him a runaround about how it's perfectly legal. Hey, the state can't maintain that prison facility, doesn't need code, but it's fine for a private contractor. It's also fine for that private contractor to conduct any training and have any training facility they want there as long as they aren't breaking the law. But clearly enough, <clears throat> the founding fathers, I guess, weren't specific enough in their their um, their piece on use of mercenaries in this country. If you understand anything about our founding fathers, you'll understand the British used a lot of mercenaries to come and get them, and it's not approved out here. But it's fine in the state of Montana now, apparently. This should strike you, um, as Montana is one of the most patriotic states. They are one of the first to reaffirm their Ninth and Tenth Amendments. They also told the federal government that they could kiss ass if they didn't like the guns they were producing there, and that any federal agent coming into the state would be detained if they tried to violate Montana state laws. But now it's just fine for Montana to bring in private mercenaries to take over a prison. I don't know if they're taking over the police force, but I'll be damned if that would surprise me for one second. This, obviously, this wasn't supposed to get out, like I said before. They're going to fuck up. Well, they just did. Now you know who they are. Foreign mercenaries bearing the Serbian royal seal are in the U.S. And just like a roach, if you can see one, you can bet there's probably a hundred hiding in the shadows. So how many different counties in this country have started to run out of money and letting a contractor come and buy out their police force or buy a prison out? Hey, who knows? This is the first time that I've heard of this. But this is big. So, to all you armchair patriots that want to know where your enemy is, or you want to go get them, or blah, 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 there they are. There they are. I will, to this day, stress, stay calm, stay rational, blah, blah, blah. But I will also say, <clears throat> these are foreign mercenaries on U.S. soil, and there is no legality to what's being done here, no matter what any fucking politician says. So again, if you want to know your enemy, they're in Billings, Montana. They own a prison now. They're probably bringing a lot of people in. And I want you to look and read the AmericanPoliceGroup.com website. And I want you to see who these people are. Get a real good understanding for it. And understand they sure as fuck aren't here to help you.
even slightly more disturbing than you may have heard is the connections and the pieces they're starting to put together that's identifying DynCorp, which is a mercenary contractor that's been working for the military, and the connection between DynCorp and Baxter International. And all this, right as the forced vaccines are coming, at least to some of us. So, I don't have any idea what you people plan to do, but I will follow what my buddy Max said and let you know the military is a federal entity. When I'm in uniform, I am property and I do not have rights like civilians. And it is our job in the military to follow orders. But again, we are in a constitutional republic. Thus, the people are in charge. But if the people continue to sit on their ass and suck their thumb, then what do you expect the military to do if the shit hits the fan and the people just keep sitting there sucking their thumb? They're probably going to follow orders. However, they might follow the people if the people ever get up and do a goddamn thing. As for me, like I said, I have my own little battle to deal with this weekend. I have two days left, I believe. I don't know how they plan to administer this vaccine, and I don't know how sinister it is, and probably the worst thing I'll face for telling them no is getting removed from the military, and that's worst-case scenario, as I see it. But again, I'm going to leave it out there. That's not important. You've got foreign mercenaries in your backyard. They are very obvious, and they can sit there and talk about how great they are for the community, and blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry, their spokesperson right now is saying, hey, just go with the flow. It'll be all right. You want to keep buying those lies, then you deserve whatever you fucking get. I'm going to leave it at that. Stay rational, stay calm, please. Think. But not for one second. Wow. If nobody does anything about this, then I mean real quick. Because the state of Montana isn't going to do anything about it. Neither is the federal government. So if you people don't do something about it soon... Sorry about your luck. Good luck to everybody in the future. Things are heating up when they're making it this obvious.